Are you a connoisseur of rare weapons? Do you like to collect the most valuable items in the game, but don't know where to start? Well, maybe this video might help. I will show you some of the most exclusive weapons and if you are still able to earn these. But be prepared for disappointment since they are exclusive for a reason. And let's start with some of that disappointment. There are certain weapons only available for players that play during the first year. This includes one of my favorite sniper rifles, the Launch Crew Eye of Reach. It was released on the 1st of May 2018 and was available for only two weeks. It's unique compared to others because of its green tinted scope and was meant as a reward for the early players of this game. It's not the most PvP friendly sniper, but having a bottle for a scope is a great design in my opinion. As you might have guessed, you can't earn this weapon anymore. But don't worry, this weapon was re-released with a different skin, which is also not available anymore. To earn this X marks the spot Eye of Reach, players had to play during the second anniversary weekend and instead of a green tint, this scope has a slight gold tint to it. Another weapon rewarded in the first year is the Captain's Bones original Pirate Cutlass. You simply had to be an active player before March 20th, 2019. This cutlass has a great design, with the blade going through the mouth of what we can presume is the skull of Captain Bones. Or maybe one of his victims, since we can actually meet this pirate during the first Pirate's Life Tall Tale. And it might go without saying, but you can't earn this anymore either. I also want to quickly mention weapon sets like the Wailing Barnacle and Forsaken Ashes. These only were available for a limited time and players had to pay Duke 15 doubloons each. This might seem like a small amount, but doubloons were not an infinite resource back then and I do know some pirates that decided to skip out on these. They are all eating their heads right now, but luckily Rare released reskins for these weapons that only require you to complete some commendations, or even none at all. However, real weapon connoisseurs will easily be able to tell the difference. So let's look at the infamous Black Dog set. Certain cosmetics of this set are also called Obsidian, Onyx, Midnight and Ebon, but they all belong to the same group. The Black Dog Cutlass can only be obtained by redeeming an exclusive code for those that pre-ordered the game. Sadly, I don't have this, but luckily you can still buy this code online. Prices vary between $500 and $2000, so still pretty obtainable. The Flintlock is a little less exclusive, since Rare put out plenty of opportunities in the past to earn this reward. Still, the Eye of Reach is probably the easiest to obtain these days, since it's part of the Obsidian 6-pack. See if these partners get a certain number of these as giveaways to their subscribers. So <clears throat> hit that subscribe button so I can start rewarding my loyal followers as well. And the final part of this weapon set is the Midnight Blunderbuss. This one was rewarded for players that bought the external CFT's hard drive when the game came out. Another way was by getting a code for attending the Creator Meet and Greet at TwitchCon 2019 in San Diego. You can still find this hard drive online, but be wary since the code for this weapon might not be included when buying it second hand. Personally, I feel both the Cutlass and Blunderbuss are a bit too exclusive and a new promotional event to earn these weapons would be very much appreciated. And I'm not just saying this because I don't own them, but that's about 85% of the reason. Another regret in my life is not getting the Ferryman set that came bundled with a limited edition controller. This set consisted of the Ferryman clothing, but also three weapons including the blunderbuss, pistol and cutlass. For some reason this set still hasn't got an eye of reach and I don't see this one releasing anytime soon. And even though the weapons look really cool, it is mainly the controller that I regret not getting. Luckily both the controller and the code for this set are still available online, but just like the Midnight Blunderbuss and Sea Duck bundle, prices are extremely high. So now let's look at some weapons that also required some effort for players to obtain. And I am talking about the arena rewards. Sadly, this game mode doesn't exist anymore, but even back then it wasn't easy to earn these weapons. 
the legendary set, for example, was only obtainable for Pirate Legends that placed first in 240 arena matches. For some, this was a hard task. Luckily, I always find myself with a competent and competitive crew, so for me it was a lot of fun and the wins came pretty natural. The Triumphant Seedog weapon set actually gave me more trouble. For each weapon type, you were required to kill 200 players to unlock the glorious Seedog weapons. And using those, you needed to kill an additional 100 players, again for each weapon, to unlock the triumphant version. After getting all my 240 wins, I still played Arena to get my Eye of Reach kills, which was a little hard for me since I'm also an Xbox player. And while we are talking about Arena, we can also talk about the Cutlass of Courage. This rare weapon was only available for a couple of weeks in May 2020 and did require players to amass 25,000 silver in Arena. And unlike certain events that are done within the hour, players had to actually put in some effort to earn this reward. Also, in typical rare fashion, there are no other weapons to this set. So let's close this list with the Gilded Phoenix set. This one is a little bit of an oddball since I do expect this set to become less exclusive in the near future. At the moment, however, these are pretty rare. Full sets have been awarded for those participating in events on Sea of Thieves television and also through the occasional giveaways. I also really like this set and as long as these weapons remain exclusive, the Gilded Phoenix Flintlock is currently replacing my Silver Blade Flintlock. Speaking about, both the Silver Blade and Sapphire Blade weapons can be considered pretty exclusive as well. Luckily these are still available for everyone over 18 years old. You do need to put in a lot of weeks and insiders. So if you want to know how to obtain these and all other insider rewards, you can watch this video. I still haven't missed a single week. So thanks for watching, I hope I did a good job disappointing you. Leaving a thumbs up is very much appreciated and I will see you in the next video where things are heating up again as the community will decide the fate of Sea of Thieves yet again.